Hey guys, welcome back to another video and happy freaking new year. Happy start of a new decade. It is officially 2020 and as you guys could tell, I ended up taking a bit, a little bit, a little smidgen of a hiatus off just for the last few weeks because I talk about it almost every single year. So if you're new, if you watch older videos, you'll see, um, but just a brief. December is a harder time of the year for me. I lost somebody very special to me during this time and it seems that as I get older and I go through the motions of I guess the loss and like the feelings that come with it every year it kind of gets harder in certain ways like I feel good but I, anyway point is I just find that I need more time off to just kind of nurture myself nurture my soul and kind of isolate myself which is kind of weird they usually say not to do that but it helps me a lot so that's what I did but I'm feeling great I'm excited that's a new year and I'm ready to crush my goals so I figured to kick off this new year I would share with you guys 20 of my resolutions for 2020 because I have quite a few and this particular year my goals are quite different than any other year prior to and you'll be able to tell by some of the things that I talk about because a lot of the time my goals were very centered around money goals growth goals in terms of like how many followers I had how many subscribers I had I've only ever done like eight resolutions or goals so this year I did 20 and it really allowed me the time especially in the last few weeks that I was on a hiatus to really think about what kind of foot I want to step into 2020 with. What do I want some of my legitimate goals to be? Things that I'll look back at and be proud of and not just be focused on, an, on a number. So, and I hope that some of these ideas give you ideas. And then if you can do me a favor and share with me some of your resolutions, you can share them all. You can share one or two. I really love when you guys share that stuff down below. But yeah, if you guys are excited for this video, make sure to throw it a thumbs up and let's jump into it. My first goal for 2020 is that I want to take more time for me and this is not something that I ever struggled with up until the last like three to four months because I launched Built Fierce, I started my ASMR channel, I started streaming for 40 to 50 hours on Twitch, I also have this channel, I also maintain my Instagram, and then I also have two puppies that I wanna share all of my time with as well. So just, it's actually quite hard to balance all of those things. I'm getting really bad at taking me time. So I wanna like once a week just set aside some time to, you know, around 10 o'clock, I just put some candles on, play one of my favorite records, and take a nice bubble bath, and then crawl into my bed, all clean, and just binge Netflix for like an hour, and then read, and that to me is more than enough me time. I just need to actually balance it so I don't start to hate work. I don't ever wanna hate work because I love what I do. I just don't wanna get resentful of it, is what I should say. That's goal number one. Goal number two is to sell this condo. So. As you guys know, I could go into a whole discussion about this, but this condo was kind of a mistake because I just, I went about this entirely wrong. I also got really bad financial advice and I might end up in the negatives after selling this place. Not by much. I might end up just breaking even. I might end up profiting. I really don't know, but this condo was a mistake. It was great because it taught me a lot about being a home owner. Just want to sell this condo. The goal is to sell it during the summer because that is when I will hit the two year mark on this place and I won't be taxed on any of the income that I do make, which I'm assuming by summer, if I can really stick it out until then, I will end up making a profit on this place. My third goal for 2020 is to reduce my plastic usage. I still have quite a long way to go with this, but original like jazz from like two years ago was buying packs of like 30 water bottles of plastic water bottles to just have in the house for no particular reason. Buying a lot of just unnecessary plastic and I still have a lot to improve on in that field 1000% but I have actually made so many improvements and I hate when people are like so much unnecessary plastic and blah blah blah. I'm like oh if only you knew. If only you knew the amount of plastic that I was using two years ago. It may not be where you want it to be but I'm working on it every single day, every single month, and every single year. So this year I just hope to get even better with it and just be more mindful and aware because sometimes I buy plastic and I honestly, I'm not even aware until after and then I'm like, Number four, I want to practice more yoga and meditation. I think that these types of things are really helpful in terms of just overall inner peace and mindfulness and kind of being in tune with your soul. As I push myself and I work harder, things like this are going to help me kind of get back down to my core 
and preserve my soul. Number five, I want to start Spanish lessons again because your girl's Puerto Rican and Salvadorian and I don't speak enough Spanish. I speak some Spanish. I know when my grandma is talking to me. I wanna eventually just be able to have legitimate conversations with people and speak my native tongue. You know what I'm saying? Number six and number seven technically go together because these are number goals. You girl had to have some number goals in here and that is to hit 500,000 subscribers on this channel, which I think is reasonable. That's like 50,000 subs in the year. Oh, we're at 452. So we're at 452, so that's 48 a little under that subscribers that I would need to get and then for my ASMR channel It just recently started picking up in viewership because YouTube is boosting me in the algorithm I have no idea how long that's gonna last trying to ride the wave while it's happening My videos went from getting two to three thousand views up to a hundred and fifty thousand views It's kind of crazy. Not all of them. Some are like around the same views as this channel oddly enough um, So my goal on that channel it's at about 25,000 subscribers now and I would love to get to a hundred K by the end of the year But we'll see number Number eight, I want to start reading one book a month, which I was essentially doing and then honestly, as you guys know, I smoke weed. Once I started doing that, I would just pass out. I typically read when I get into bed at the end of the night as kind of like a wind me down, kind of relax, chill out type of thing. And I just, once I started smoking a lot, I was so tired that I was reading and I wasn't focusing on the pages. So I just would pass out. I mean, I've got like 10 to 15 books that I've bought recently just because they sounded so interesting. So I want to get back to reading one one book a month if I can read more awesome but the next two books on my itinerary so is to finish sapiens and then I have crime and punishment which is a Russian novel classic but yeah I want to finish reading both of those books and just continue working my way down the line of all of the books that I have because I have a lot number nine I want to get closer with my family there's oh 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 he wants he wants me to pet him so like I said, I wanna get closer with my family. I feel that because I live in LA and because there are kind of, you know, ties and things that have happened in my family, we're all just kind of spread out and, and not everyone talks and not everyone talks on a regular basis and just not everyone talks like at all. And so I want to at least work on, you know, uh, building a closer relationship with my brother and my grandma and my cousins because they're getting older now. And I just wanna be around. I don't wanna be the cousin that was like, oh yeah, I've got like a cousin in LA, but we don't really like talk to her. And I know that that's something that's gonna take time. I still have like decent relationships with all of them, but I just want it to be more. Definitely just working on relationships with my family. Number 10 is to focus on making new friends because in the last year, I have lost <laughs> a lot of friends and not even on bad terms. Either we just grew apart or maybe there were bad terms or maybe we just kind of outgrew each other. I don't know, but I feel that my friend list has dropped pretty extensively and I've got no problem with it I'm actually pretty happy with it because I want to I want to figure out who I want to give my time to and who I want to share my time with so I just want to focus on building new friendships I recently me and Nikki stepped out of our comfort zone if you watch Nikki's most recent video I think her what I eat in a day we we're talking about how we were gonna go out in Austin for drinks with this girl that I actually just watched on stream for a while and was kind of a fan kind of like a Nikki situation I guess but we all ended up meeting up having drinks having an amazing Amazing time and now I consider Lulu one of my friends. Uh, number 11 is to water relationships with those that I care about and this is something that a friend taught me once upon a time because it is something that I have a tendency to do because I do get really caught up in my work and then when I'm not caught up in my work I get really caught up in my alone time because my job is quite social. Streaming on Twitch I'm chatting with 150 to 100 people playing video games. I have my dogs and I know that doesn't seem like socializing but it is socializing but what I end up doing is I get so focused on my alone time that I end up letting a lot of my plant friendships dehydrate. Number 12 is to launch my business. I've been talking about it because it's, I, I, I don't feel right really saying anything about it until it's like actually close to launch date because right now it really is just a pipe dream. It's just something that I've been talking about, that I've created a mood board, mood board for, that I've told my management about and we're working on like, you know, getting a potential team set up, but it was kind of put on pause with the holidays and everything. So we're gonna have a follow-up meeting
meeting about it actually this week so that we can kind of figure out what our ne next steps are gonna be. But I just wanna get it launched though and, and I don't know how successful it'll be and I don't know that I really care about how successful it'll be because I'm gonna be a buyer of my own product and I guess that's all that really matters. Number 13 is to continue therapy even when I don't think that I need it or even when I think I don't need it because I'm currently in therapy right now and it was really hard for me to get started this last time because I am in a place where I just got over some seasonal depression, not gonna lie. Definitely was going through it in December and a little bit for this first week of January, but I was in therapy the entire time and I think that, that was really useful. I think that that was really helpful. And it was nice because before that, as I was going to therapy weekly, I felt really good and I didn't feel like I needed to be in therapy, but then December rolled around and I already had this relationship with a therapist who makes me feel comfortable, who makes me feel safe and makes me feel like I have a place where I can just talk about things freely. Number 14 is to get a home with a backyard. And this is perfect timing because this little needy ass dog is in my lap right now. But my dogs love, love, love the grass. There's this patch of grass that I constantly use on my street that's just like a dog accessible area, but it's like a part of a condo, but they like let the people that are local, I gotta sneeze. But they love it when I, I let them off leash in that little gated area and they just love it so much and I want them to have a backyard so bad because I think it will, one, drain them, two, make them so freaking happy, and three, I'll be able to foster dogs more and like foster cats and not really worry about like my tiny little space because there will be a backyard for my dogs. Number 15 is to save money. I have a pretty specific amount in my head but I'm not going to specify what that amount is but I really Really need to focus on saving more. This is the first time starting like mid last year I actually had money in my savings account for a long time I was just catching up on debt that I had to pay off on credit cards tax dues business dues Just so many bad things and this is the first time that I'm like wow I actually am building a savings account and it's kind of exciting So I just want to continue to save number 16 is I want to continue making more money than the previous year so basically ever since Jazzy Poo business was established, I have been on a steady incline where my revenue, you know, started at X amount of salary and then it went up by like 20 or 30K and then it went up again by 20 or 30K and then it went up by even more. And I want to continue as each year progresses to beat my income as the previous year. And I'm more so looking at gross because net is a completely different thing after business expenses are factored, but I just want to continue to have basically a successful and thriving business, but as an umbrella with like all of my businesses, with ASMR, with gaming, with this channel, with my Instagram, with brands that I work with, etc. Number 17 is to stay true to myself even if others don't like it. This has been a year of a lot of different judgment regarding channels, regarding the way that I say things, regarding my advice on things, regarding how I react to things. It's just been a year of a lot of judgment and I found that at times throughout 2019, I was a lot more weary about being open about my thoughts and it was in a way changing the perception I was giving of myself to other people and I'm really proud to be someone who is outspoken and who does kind of go against the grain with opinions whether people like it or not and I don't ever want to filter that because then I would not be true to myself and when I'm not true to myself I'm not happy and I don't end up enjoying the content that I put out there. Alright number 18 is to donate to more causes. I started this a few years ago and I basically just donate to to a cause instead of giving gifts every Christmas year. Like I'll give gifts to like one or two people. Like if it's a significant other or you know, if someone's having a baby, I get something like that. But typically I just end up donating like four to $600 to causes that mean something to me. So I've done it for like Syrian refugees. I've done it to animal shelters and then this year I did it to the Australian wildfires that are happening right now, which is pretty devastating. If you don't know about it, you should know about it and you should donate anything if you have any means to, even if it's just a dollar, anything helps. But right now Australia is on fire and half a billion animals have been victims to this and have perished as a result. There's actually an even higher chance now that some of you know the animals that we have grown up with and known and loved and have been around for years and years and years, um, may go extinct as a result of this fire. So very devastating to me, but I donated $500 to, I donated to a charity, a really popular one that I saw um, an Instagram account 
post about that I know and love and they're doing a lot to help those animals. Um, so I just wanna donate to more charitable causes, even if it's once a month and it's like 100 bucks. Number 19 is to explore the outdoors more. This year I did a little bit of that. I did some more hiking. I went on some cool trail walks that I had never done before. Anytime that I traveled, like when I went to Mexico, we went and explored some really cool trails there as well and cenotes and just, you know, things that you don't just find commonly walking around Los Angeles. So I want to focus on just being more of an explorer and kind of finding the adventure in me so that I could experience more of the world and the beautiful nature that it has to offer. Okay, and number 20, finally, because I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I'm getting old and my back is aching so bad my head is pounding. Your girl's in Cairo like twice a week now because I got some stuff to work through. But I just want to work on my overall happiness because I do think that mental health is so important and I just want to continue to work on breaking that stigma not only for myself but for all of you guys and just for the internet and the world in general because happiness makes me a better person. It makes my dogs better puppies and it just makes, just makes the world a better place. So I just want to continue to work on my mental mental health and just my overall happiness. All right, you guys, so that is gonna be it for my 2020, or 20, 20 goals and resolutions for the year 2020. We hope that you guys enjoyed this video because Duke couldn't leave me alone throughout this whole freaking thing. But I love you guys so much. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to share some of your goals with me in the comment section down below, because I wanna hear it. And you might give me some more ideas of things to add to my resolution list. So that's it for now. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it, you guys. Comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Right? Love you. Besitos. Bye.